What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Stan of SJ Square Photography, bring you back another video. Today is a good video. It's gonna be a talking head video. I know I don't do a lot of these, but I think I'm gonna start incorporating more of these on the channel. Now, as you've seen, as the title shows you, yes, it is gonna be talking about my vlogging setup. So this is gonna be a very, very quick, quick video because my vlogging setup really ain't much to be honest with you, but I just wanna go ahead and just speak about what I've been using for my vlogging videos, as well as just my YouTube videos in general. Now, as you know, I did start off my YouTube channel actually using my cell phone and the Filmic uh, Pro app. That's the first time I was using when I started my channel. That's what I was using mainly for like the first two or three videos. And from there, I went ahead and upgraded to the A6300 and I got the 30 uh, 1.4 Sigma lens with that. And that was absolutely the workhorse. And it carried me from here all the way up until last year, uh, which was about in May, if I'm not believing May or June, when I ended up getting my very own and new, bam, right here, Sony A7S III. Y'all probably know I got this because I label a lot of my titles with that and I've just been t telling you all about it. So now it's just run run to tell you about my whole entire setup because now I like my setup. So when I finally got this thing, I was still using the kit lens, which is filming me now which is the 28 to 70, a variable aperture lens. I think it's 3.5 to 5.6 if I'm not mistaken. And that was, I was using mainly when I ended up getting the Sony a7S III. Uh, now, like I said, I was getting into vlogging later into last year, and that's when I started using it. But I, then I realized that that 28 was just a little bit too tight. It's just a little bit too freaking tight for me. So uh, I was actually gonna go and go get the 16, the 28, don't, don't really kind of quote me, the Sigma 16 to 28. I was on the verge of purchasing that lens. I really was, I was on the verge of purchasing that lens until good old fashioned Tamron announced this beautiful 20 to 40 millimeter lens. When they announced that, I halted the purchase and said, if this is going to be real, because first I seen it on the rumors of the site, and then like a week later or so, they officially announced it. So when I was that, I halted on the Sigma and I was like, yes, I'm going to get the 20 to 40 because for me and my personal thing, I think this is the ultimate creator lens, period. Uh, I believe it covers a nice amount of focal length to get you some vlogging and as well as doing some BTS video, as you know what I do on my channel. Uh, so this lens is absolutely just uh, all around and I only had this lens for about uh, I think I got into the beginning of December. So I really haven't had this lens very long. So I'm gonna throw up just a little talking, you know, some things I did with it so far, cause I haven't really did a lot of shoots with it, as well as I really haven't even done a video portrait with this lens yet as well. But I absolutely do love this lens for the vlogging. So like I said, this is more talking about my vlogging and this is the whole entire setup now. Like I said, I got the 20 to 40, 2.8, Aperture, as you can see, this is at 40. It goes in for some reason at 40 and at 20 it extends out. It's really not that much of a difference. So it's really, really, it's really not that much. This is a very, very lightweight setup. As you know, I got the, the Sony uh, AS, sorry. I got the Sony S3 uh, with this. Great for vlogging because of this thing right here. This right here made all of the difference. Uh, I've been wanting to get into vlogging, but I didn't just have the setup. Like I said, I was with the A6300 for a very long time. And of course, if you're gonna do some vlogging, you gotta be able to see yourself just to frame yourself. So therefore, I really didn't wanna lug around that and just absolutely put a monitor on there. That's just what I didn't want to do. I just kinda wanna be everything all lightweight. So uh, when I end up getting the A7S3, that's the reason why more of my vlogs start coming out because I was able to do this and this flippy screen right here is all, all because of this flippy screen. Uh, is the reason why I went, went full blown to vlogging. Now, far as the mic that I'm using, I'm using that Sony G1 mic. It's the little bitty mic that you just plug in into the hot, hot shoe and it goes, the, the audio goes directly in there. There's no battery required. So the battery, um, so this is actually running off the camera battery. And so far, so far, it's a pretty good thing. I don't think it runs down the battery too much. Uh, I only did a couple of vlogs with this so far. 
to really test the audio to it. So I'm still in the process of testing this, but I do like this whole entire setup. Though. What I was using before was the Godox M1 uh, microphone system, wireless microphone system, which is on me right now. That's what I was using uh, to do my vlogging, which was fine, but I'm gonna tell you something. I was always worried, because as you can see these doors, in order to plug that up, you got the door right here and you got to plug in the mic well as the case may be and it always just kind of it just made me nervous that that door was just sitting there open and you know when you're vlogging you're not technically always vlogging all the time so you got to sit your camera down and all that jazz so it just kind of worried me that this was just right there all the freaking time um and i was just afraid of breaking it off if i put it down wrong just breaking that door off uh as well as i was also you know concerned about my battery life with my godox uh, with my godox system as well the wireless microphone system uh, you know, cause on a good vlogging day, I only vlog when I do my photo shoots, right? So I may start up early in the morning and then about the time I get done doing my shoot, uh, or getting to do the shoot and do the actual BTS for the, uh, for y'all guys, you know, the batteries are pretty much about to die on my Godox system. So, and I only got one transmitter. So that's the biggest problem with that because I only got one of the system. So it's not necessarily like a problem with the receivers because I can just kind of take those out. And I got two of those, but it's just with the transmitter by itself. So, um, so yeah, so this is what I got so far. I really, really enjoyed this light little setup I got right here. And of course you already know that the S3 is a beast of a, just a beast of video, uh, content creation, uh, camera for mirrorless camera. So this is my whole entire setup. So I'm really, really enjoying this setup. I'm going to give you more and more. Uh, probably give you like a little update when I have it for about six months to really give you a, a, a really good grasp of how I'm liking these two combos so far. But as of right now, I really do like the lens because I had to have the lens a little bit longer. I just got the mic this year, actually. Um, and my first time was using it was actually during the vlog for um, when I went to Nashville. That was my first time using this mic, actually. So, and I have done a couple of shoots. No, I only done one more of the shoot and one more of the vlog since I had this mic so far. So. It's, it's, it's still, like I said, still very, very brand new to me. I got to figure out the settings. Uh, the thing about this thing is it's completely auto. So like you can't even change the settings inside of the camera system. It does it automatically, auto, automatically auto everything, auto levels everything, which is pretty fine if you vlogging and things of that nature. And like I said, it's just a nice little setup. It's, everything is small and I like that. Like I like how small everything is, like how to compact. I don't gotta worry about batteries for this thing at all. This is one of my biggest selling points. Now, the thing about this is that they do have like three other different versions. It's pretty much their big brothers of this, of this microphone, the big brothers of them. Uh, they got like a, yeah, they got one that's like 249 and then they got another one's like $300. And they're all the same, it's just a little bit taller. Of course, you know, with more money, it just does a little bit more things for you. But I felt like just for a vlogging thing, just for this, it only costs like 150 bucks for this mic here. So I felt like this was more of what I needed just to worry, definitely worry about the door and then worry, I don't have to worry about batteries at all. So this was the main reason why I went ahead and went with this microphone. So. If you have any other questions about my vlogging setup, uh, leave a comment down below. Of course, if you like my content, please consider yourself subscribing to the channel. And to the next one, peace.